Welcome back to more Omega Ruby, everybody. So in the last episode, we pretty much finished everything and there's only a few things left to do. The first thing is actually to go to Shoal Cave during the high tide. If you don't know, the Shoal Cave, um, depending on if it's um, like a certain time of the day, it'll actually be high tide or low tide. It's actually a little confusing as to how that works, that whole mechanic, but um, I will tell you, that if you put the time at around noon, anywhere from like 11 to 2, then it'll actually be a high tide, which is perfect. Okay, so I can't do anything there. However, there is a pathway to go from that side. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back. I can go over there. Or I can come over here. Okay. Let's see. Aha, there's an item here. And that's a star piece. Okay. Perfect. Now, to be honest, I think there's actually more valuable items when there's a low tide. I don't think there's actually that much to get on the high tide aside from the four, um, the shoal salts, you know? So, we'll see. I can go there, right? Oh, no, I can't, actually. What the heck? Okay. Which means that there's only one place left to go, and that's going to be this way. All right. So I'm to get the four items, and then who knows what else, actually. Hmm. Well, so far only here. It's actually pretty linear, and there's also one more item in the top right corner of the first room. So I have to find a way to get back around that way. Aha, look at that. So that's a shoal shell, okay. So that's one. Uh, there's definitely another one over there on the right that I just saw, right here, okay. Well, that's two, only two more. And then that's it for that area, oh my god. Sorry, this commentary is so bad, man, jeez. What the hell is that? Oh, I didn't know that, okay. Hmm. Okay, there's another pathway there. Oh, easy enough, okay. That's a dead end, so it leads to a shoal shell. And I see the fourth one over here, in this corner. Um, let's see. There it is. It actually was that easy. Wow. Wait, there's an exit over there. Hold on, in that case. That means this is the only thing left to get here, and that's a rare candy. Okay, I'll take that. Which means that that's actually going to be it, because I believe this exit on the bottom will lead to the final item that we saw in the first room. On the top right corner of that first room, right? I was right, yep. And that's it, Big Pearl. We're done. The uh, Shoal Cave is now 100% uh, complete. The last thing we have to do actually is talk to the, um, talk to the old man. Who is going to be right over here. You, and he actually gives you a shell, though, if you give him four of each. Yes. Now, unfortunately, it's really not worth everything that you do to get that, because a shell bell is not that good of an item, simply because it is completely outclassed by the leftovers. Oh, we also get a Slowbro Knight. Cool. Nice. Well, thank you. Um, yeah. The shell bell basically, like, it restores, like, one-eighth of the damage you did in that turn, so unless you're like one-shotting everything, leftovers will always heal for more HP than a shoal or, or sorry a shell bell, which is kind of like it's a little upsetting, you know. But oh well. Okay, and now the very very last place that we're going to explore before we go on to Victory Road is going to be Sea Marvel. Now, um, one more thing I will do though is I need to go to the Mart because... Wait, where's the Mart? What the... Oh, here it is. I'm so stupid. Because um, I'm actually pretty short on max repels, believe it or not, so I need to actually buy some. I think I'm good with everything else, though, right? Like... Well, actually... I'm gonna buy four. So I'm gonna need ten. For buys, I'm good. Everything else, I'm pretty good, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna buy 40 more. As you can see, I have like no money left, but that's also because I did spend like all my money on the TMs, as you know. Okay, let's do this. 
I'm gonna go ahead and ride my bike all the way down. Do not use a repel right now, no. You know what I should do though? I also have a repel and a super repel in my inventory that I just noticed when I was scrolling through. So I think a smart thing to do is actually just use those repels. Might as well, I mean... Yeah, they don't, they don't really get that many steps, but I think it's better than selling them because I get more bang for my buck if I actually use them as opposed to selling them for what would actually be half price, right? So this repel is going to be finished really fast. It's only 100 steps, but it'll help a little bit, you know? Then I'm going to use the super repel right after. There we go. Okay, so that's, that's it for that. It actually went a little more than I thought. Wow, okay. The super repel is right over... Oh my god, I'm wasting so much time just to find one, man. Okay, there's the super repel. Here we go, Sea Marvel. So, as you know, I already explored all of this. Um, plus, I mean, pretty much everything else in the other rooms. The only thing I can do, really, is to come over here and go to the dive area, because I did all this. All these other other rooms were locked, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that one was locked. Um, there was actually another... Okay, that one was open, but I don't really... I don't know if I can actually go to the locked doors. And then those I don't even know. That one is also locked, but that's number... So that's two. And that's one. Okay, one and two. And yeah, that's actually it. Okay, perfect timing for the max repel now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the, um, where is it, where is it? Here we go. What, what the heck, I'm not even full, fully healed. What? Oh my god, I didn't know that. Yep, so I gotta dive right here. As you know, previously I couldn't dive because I came here before I had access to dive. Okay. Well, that's what I find here. What the heck? Damn. Okay, so there's definitely multiple places to go. I'm gonna go down here first. What the hell is this? I feel like this is where you actually fight Lugia or ho -Oh. Cause yes, you actually do fight these eventually, like post-game. But, oh... What? Sure. Scanner. There it is. Okay. I got the scanner. Hmm. So it was really just for that, okay. However, if I keep going to the right, I believe it takes me to the other side of the ship now, right? Yeah, right here. Go ahead and undive. To undive, that's a funny damn term. Hmm. Nothing there. Are you a trainer? What? Who are you? Little kid. Okay. Sure. Can I go here? Yes, I can. Being watched? Are there actually encounters here? Oh, fine. I should have not used it. I'm not sure. I'm being watched. What the shit does that mean? Well, I mean, I know what that means, but like... In this other context, you know? Odd keystone. I know that. Do I need to just keep... It feels as though you're being watched. Let me examine these again, now that I examined the first one. There's no one here. What the... Is there something here in this room? I don't think there is. I don't know what the hell is in this room. But I'm gonna leave. And I guess I might as well go there later, I don't know. What the heck? 
Hmm. This is, a, like, an incredibly strange area. It really is. Letters? I don't think I need to read all these. I'm pretty sure it's all just story, right? This place is honestly a little scary because, like, you can examine every single area and it's the same thing, or at least it feels like it, but I don't know. I really don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I'm gonna talk to you. Room 4 is locked as well. Room 6 is locked. Sure. Okay, I got the key to room 1. Interesting. And now I'm back on this side. Okay, that's a white herb. You know one thing I didn't actually use? I didn't use this. I don't think that would really matter. So, let's... Okay, I'm also gonna not use a repel. Okay, so see, room six. Six and four had the locks. I wanna use the item finder here to see if there's something. There's not, actually. Let me go ahead and check the other room, then, in that case. Right down here. It feels as though you're being watched. Hmm. It's still really weird, but okay. I am going to go ahead and... Now I need to go back and dive back to the first area of the ship. But I actually have to use the max repel again. Yes, let's go ahead and dive. Dude, am I even going to get to Victory Road in this freaking episode? I thought I was going to be able to. I didn't think it was going to be that long to go to Shoal Cave and see Mauville, but... You know, I gotta do it. I gotta do this, you know? I mean, I don't have to, but I wanna, like, show off pretty much everything that there is about the game, you know? Aside from all that crazy Lottie of flying post-game where you get, like, all this crazy shit and all these, like, 25 legendary Pokemon or some... I don't even know, man. Okay. So I can open that one. That's a dive ball. And here's a double battle. The question is though, how do I get another key? Because I actually don't know. Anyway, this is a Curlia and a uh, Chingling. Should be pretty easy. Level 28 and 29, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and crunch you, and I will poison fang the Curlia. Look at that super effective damage. And now crunch. I don't know, I mean, these people might actually give me the key, who knows, right? I hope so, actually. Or maybe I have to give it to the professor or the scanner, you know? Or the researcher, or whatever you call them. I don't even know. Hmm. Because, I mean, there's nothing else here. I'll just tell you right now, there's nothing else here. So... I'm actually going to go back. You. I have to give it to Captain Stern. But what the... Oh, crap. Um... The question is, though, how the hell... Okay, well, here's the other thing. Why am I being watched? Is, is somebody over here, like, freaking spying on me? Because, like, I actually thought that this was, like... Hmm. I don't know, man. See, Mobile is, uh, it's honestly a pretty tricky, uh, area here. Oh my god, who the hell just, god damn it. Okay, sorry. Um. See, that's blocked. 
But that is a room. Hmm. I think I'm missing something incredibly important here. In the meantime, let me check my... Oh, let me see. I think that's fine, actually. I think that should be fine. I don't know, should I go back the other way, then? You know what? I'm gonna go back. I feel like I'm missing something over here, you know? Like, I really am. So let's see here. Um, if I go... Hmm. I don't know, man. I feel like this is the only place here, so I need to go ahead and undive. Sorry, I'm just trying to think so much here. Like, how did I beat this before? So there's one, two... Wait. Yeah, that was the one that I went to there. Hmm... Wait, I actually just remembered. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I literally just remembered. I don't know how this idea just popped up, but I'm wasting so much time here, and I apologize. But I believe I know where it is. Oh gosh. I just took an unnecessary trip dive over here, because now I have to go back. The key to room two is in that room one, which I, I could have figured, but I wasn't actually sure, and I just remember where the hell it was. I was, I was thinking so much, which is what I was like, huh, wait, what the heck? I wasn't even talking that much, because I was trying to really think deeply about what the heck you actually have to do. I actually just remembered. Okay, so room one is over here. I'm pretty sure it's in a cabinet somewhere. Like, maybe here. Oh my god, I guessed on the first try. I freaking knew it, man. I freaking knew it. Like, this is ridiculous. How did I... Wow. Okay, so what's in here? Key to room 6. Oh, thank God. Okay, nice. What's up, you? Nothing? Okay, here's an item. That's a revive. I will take that. Okay, now we can actually go to the right side, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we're done. Okay, now I'm making progress, finally. Thank God. Now we need to dive back again. And then go back down. Alright. Now this is the part where it gets a little... Um, crazy, but I believe they actually changed this. Oh, what the hell was the wrong one? What am I doing? Which one is room... Was it this one? Yes, it was. Okay. Because they actually changed this. And, um... What the hell? What the heck? Yes. Actually, I didn't have to do that. I'm still wasting so much time. I can serve. Yes, I can. Okay. So let's see here. Wait, where the hell am I? What? What is this place? I mean, there's a fisherman there. But that's like it, right? There's also a freaking. Okay, let me talk to this fisherman guy here. You caught anything? Cut a... okay. A key to room four. Hmm. What is this door over here, though? I'm curious. What the hell is this? Storage. Okay. I see. Now I have to go back in here. And go to room 4. I know this is so freaking annoying, man, but it, it is a technically a dungeon, you know? Which is why it's so... Damn, so tedious as well. 
All right. Anything in here with the item finder? Storage key. Nice. And now I can get the hell out of here. And guess what? Now I have to go back to room six. Back across to the right side. And then stir down to the storage room. What the? Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Okay, now, look at this. Sweet. What the heck? What the hell? Yes, I did. Hmm. This is now scram. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's hilarious. So he apparently thought that they were after all the treasure when it's actually not the case. But instead... We are rich people. Look at this. Look at this awesomeness and awesomeness, man. Now we're going to have so much damn money. Like, so much money. It's going to be insane. Plus, another TM as well. Look at this. Each big nugget is, what, like 50,000, I'm pretty sure? That's crazy. Ice Beam. That's a fantastic TM. It's another nugget. Oh my god, so many items here to obtain. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. Ooh, and there's a freaking it item over there. Another big nugget. Another one. And another one. Wow. We are rich. That's a regular nugget, okay. Sure, whatever. Big nugget. I can also surf. What the heck? I don't think I can... There's nothing over there, man. There's nothing. Well, I mean, I, I need a serve, I believe, to get to the it item. I'm pretty sure. Okay. A luxury ball? Okay. I mean, whatever. And, yeah, we got a serve, actually. I think. I don't know what item this is. Let's see. Beedrill light. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, cool, right? I guess so. So now here's the thing that I need to do. Um, Where the hell is Captain Stern? Like, is he back in Slayport? I hope he is. Because if he's not, then I don't know what the hell I have to do. I really have no idea, but I guess I'll figure it out, right? What I'm also going to do, though, is go ahead and heal up. Because I don't know why, but I'm not fully healed, and I actually thought that I was before this episode. So I do not know. I do not know what the hell is going on. Sweet. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and take this on. So I'm going to go... Um, no, not that, dude. Okay, which building is it? It's not this one. No, that's, that's the... I always get confused here, man. Hold on. See, he can't be there, though. I honestly have no idea where this guy is, okay? This captain. You! Tell me where's Captain Stern. Is he gonna be over here? Man, if he's not over here, I don't know where the hell he is, okay? Where the fuck is this guy, man? Oh, well, here you are. Here, I want to give you the stuff. What? That's not Captain Stern? 
I thought that he was. What the heck? You know what, people? I'm gonna do this later. I don't know where the hell this dude is. Like, are you kidding me? If he's not here, where could he be? Where the hell's Captain Stern, man? The game does not tell me any hints on where this dude is. I think the only thing, the only option left is to check the harbor. Because he could actually be there. Here. If he's not here, I'm gonna give up, okay? Aha! Is that you? Yes! Yes. What do I get? A clear bell? What in the hell is a clear bell? Oh yeah, that's for the freaking... That's for, um... Uh, ho -Oh, right? Yeah, it's for ho -Oh. That's why I couldn't... Yeah, okay, that makes sense now. Holy shit, okay. Well, that's cool. I got a key item for ho -Oh now. Um... Now I'm gonna go ahead and fly. Over to... I think Moz Deep is honestly going to be the closest one to the to Victory Road, so I'm going to go ahead and fly to Moz Deep. And yeah, we'll see. Alright. We going to fly. Um... So now, and I need to freaking hurry this up, man, because... I know that this episode was not the most polished, I apologize for that. I could have done a lot better, I know, but damn. Damn. Okay, Max Rappel, I at least want to get into freaking Victory Road, okay? Like, seriously. Okay, so we are now in Route 127. The good thing is that we've already beaten all these trainers, so no one's going to interrupt us on the way over there, you know? Uh, I don't think that's where I need to go. I think it's like this. And then further south, and then here I need to go directly east. Yeah, I beat all these trainers already. Every single one of them. I wiped the world of trainers. Damn. And over here. This is the waterfall area. Okay. Uh, sure, another repel? Yes, why not? Okay, so I think in here... Oh wait, hit an item. Have to revive. I'll take it. I will take it. Any more items? Nope, okay. So all that's left, of course, is the Pokemon Center. And I actually... See, I don't know why the hell this place is called Evergrande City. But, okay. I don't really see it as a city. I'm just saying, I think the definition of a city is more than one building, right? Like, I'm just saying. Alright, well, I guess, dude, do I even know? I already healed. I already healed, man. Also, don't you get psychic in the city? This quote-unquote city? I'm pretty sure you do. Maybe it's on the other side, though. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, victory road. I freaking love this music. So here we are, although we're not really going to do all that much progress in this episode here. So far it's linear, there's only one place to go. As you can see. You're basically going to need every single HM to traverse this place, except... I don't think you need dive, and I don't think you need cut, and obviously fly is... optional. But you need waterfall to get here, you need surf, you need strength, I think you need rock smash. Okay, now we got two ways to go. The trainers here, though, are going to have some pretty stacked lineups, to be honest. Sigilyph. Yeah, and that's another thing. Uh, now that we're in Victory Road, the rosters are going to have um, teams that have Pokemon outside of the original Ruby and Sapphire. Look at that crunch. Heck yeah. 1657 points. Next up is Rhyperior. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Um, to be honest, Ice Fang is going to be the best. Because it can also flinch and or freeze you. Plus it does a little bit more damage. Hammer Arm. Oh boy. That's going to be... Fucking crap. Okay. I need a new strategy here. 
I need to resort to. How does so much damage? That did so much freaking damage. Okay, I'm gonna switch to you. It's not be a dumb thing, but see, I would switch to Crobat, but Crobat, oh, I don't know, man. Another hammer on. That's fine. That's real. That's not gonna do that much damage, right? That's what I thought. I have Steel Wing. Let's also hope that I can get a, a defense. Oh, and of course you. Game, game. How do I miss with my 90% attack, yet you connect with your 80% attack? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This thing can two-shot me with Stone Age, by the way, I'm just saying. There is not much I can do to this guy. And he is not missing any of his attacks, dude. He's seriously not missing anything. I am... You know what? I gotta do Confuse Ray. I gotta do it. This right pair is destroying me right now. See, one of the problems with, problems with my team is the fact, like, how much I rely on physical attacks. Like, that really is a problem. I mean, luckily, I got lucky there, finally. So that, that made up for this freaking Stone Age Steel Wing bullshit, at least. Okay, that's gonna kill Crobat. He did not miss a single Stone Age, by the way, out of three. That's ridiculous. But that's what I'm saying. That's probably... The worst thing, because he Liz would not have been able to. Ah, uh, there's no way. Liz couldn't one shot him either. There's no way. Repair has too much defense. That is probably the biggest weakness of my team. The fact that literally every Pokemon except Latios is a physical attacker, which means when I fight defensive walls like Rhyperior, there's honestly not much I can do. There really isn't. And you just saw a perfect example right there. And that was a Pokemon that was, what, 15 levels under me? I want to say, wasn't it? What level was it? I, I forgot. And I still suffered really badly, as you just saw. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.